Hello everybody and welcome back to Robert's Reviews. Today we are continuing our Steve Carell series. If you guys want to get caught up on the Steve Carell series, go ahead and consider going over to the playlist, uh, which is labeled Steve Carell, labeled Steve Carell Reviews. And uh, you can watch all of my Steve Carell reviews um, that have ever been made, which so far I've watched every movie that he's been in where he's at least a, a side character. Um, so yeah, uh, we're continuing today. Uh, we are sort of kind of almost done. We've got about a month left. Um, and we'll be all out of Steve Carell movies that have ever been made. Which kind of blows my mind. Uh, we've really gone quite far. We've watched a whole lot of Steve Carell. And today, we are going to be talking about Beautiful Boy. Beautiful Boy was released in 2018. It was written by Felix Van Groenigen and Luke Davies, and it was directed by Felix Van Groenigen. I apologize if I pronounce that wrong. It's a lot of letters. I think I got it right, though. So, uh, for those of you guys who don't know what this movie's about, uh, non-spoilers, of course, uh, it is based on a true story. I just need my eyebrow. It is based on a true story um, about addiction, and essentially it's about the son and a father's relationship as the son deals with the addiction and tries to uh, manage it, try to get over it, and, and about the father's reaction to these and how he either helps or um, advocates for the drug addiction. This is a very touching movie. Um, I remember watching this when it first came out because I was very interested. Um, and I really, really liked it. I had a great time watching it. Um, I think the movie is still very good. I didn't have as good a time as I did when I was younger. Um, this is three years ago, so I was like, what, 17 when this came out. Um, I really liked it and I had a great time watching it. Um, and even now I still really liked it. I don't think it was a very fantastic movie, but I did like the idea behind it. I also did want to mention, like, Steve Carell's been doing a whole lot of stuff with Amazon recently. Like, really, quite a lot of stuff. With Cafe Society, um, wasn't Battle of Listen? No, Battle of Listen was Amazon. But Last Flag Flying was. Beautiful Boy is. Um, I think Irresistible might be, but I, I don't know for sure. I actually don't think it is. But he did quite a few movies with Amazon, and all of them are pretty good. Um, I liked all the Amazon ones he's done. Um, but more importantly, this is one of the first times where we get to see Steve Carell be an adult Steve Carell, right? Like, we have some of his more dramatic movies before. They weren't all very good, but we had some. Um, and we had times where Steve Carell was able to be an adult, and he had times where he was able to be fun. In the same year, even, with Anchorman 2 being a prime example of when he can, you know, be an adult but still be loose and of course the office of course you know you i always forget to mention the office i've seen the office i love the office um if you guys want the office reviews i'm welcome to do it um just let me know if you want that um i think overall the movie's really solid there are a couple flaws first the pacing is weird there are times where like we really go fast there are times where we really go slow and one thing that i think is a problem with that is he tries to do this non-linear storytelling which I generally like non-linear storytelling, which is, for those of you who don't know, it's telling a story without going from beginning to end, right? We can do uh, end, and then middle, and then end again, beginning, middle, and it's it's interesting. But the way that he does it, just I don't think quite works the way that it was supposed to. While I don't think it's bad, I, I, there are parts of it that I think are really good. There's, there's one scene that comes to mind in particular uh, towards the middle of the movie that I think is really solid um, with Chalamet's character, you know, in a car, and we get to see, you know, all of us jumping back and forth between cars and stuff. I thought it was really cool. But there are other times in the movie where it doesn't work, where we get these moments where we're like, we don't really know exactly how this connects, right? There are other times where it very much does connect, and it's great, and I had a lot of fun with those. But there really are quite a few where it doesn't, and it's quite unfortunate. The tone of the movie is really great, though. I really liked the tone of the movie. I liked how it felt dark, but not, you know, sad. It was, you know, because the, the, the dealers, not the, 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 the addicted child really does, like, not want to be on drugs. You can tell. But he feels there's no other way, right? And you really get that, that across. But what really adds to the tone here is that it's not a movie about drugs right it's not it is a movie 
about a relationship between the father and the son that has to do with drugs, right? That is true. Um, the main focus of the story is not on the drugs, really. It's more on the effect that a father can have on a son, right? Because we see that Steve Carell's character is, is lost in how does he get him out of this addiction? Do I help him or do I leave him alone? And all that stuff. And, you know, Chalamet's character is, is like, I really like doing drugs. Um, I'd like to stop because I want you to be proud of me and stuff. But I really like it and I feel good when I do it. So I just keep on doing it. And it's a really interesting balance. If you haven't seen the movie, you should check it out. It's on Amazon. Um, or at least watch the trailer uh, on YouTube. Um, and once you watch the trailer, I think you'll, you'll want to watch it. Um, and again, it's really not a perfect movie. There's a lot of issues that I had with it. I did just discuss them. Um, but it's fun. And it's a movie that I enjoy watching. One other issue that I have, I'll talk about that later. Um, we'll talk about it now. We'll talk about the acting. Um, first, Steve Carell is David Chef. So, I like Steve Carell, uh, for the most part. Um, I don't like a lot of his movies. This is a, a moment where I kind of like both. I think the movie is really great, and I think Steve Carell is a good choice. Um, there are a lot of moments where I'm like, wow, Steve Carell can deliver a really, really great performance about a father in more of a dramatic role. There's almost almost no jokes, right? There's this one time where he gets into an argument, and it's in the trailer, so I can talk about it, where he's like, my son's in trouble and he's hurt. You don't know how to help him, right? And, and honestly, I think it, it was great. I think that he was able to, uh, through his vocal cords, express sadness and anger. The issue that I had was it felt very similar to moments in the office where he would yell. Uh, it sounded exactly the same. If you if you listen to that shot in the trailer, you just close your eyes and you think about Michael Scott, it comes to mind. And honestly, it kind of took away from the moment. Um, I know that we shouldn't typecast based on other previous shows, right? Like, like a perfect example is Brian Cranston, right? Just because he was Hal and Malcolm in the Middle doesn't mean that he can't be you know, Walter White in, in, in Breaking Bad. He can play multiple characters. But the, you know, when, when you watch Breaking Bad after watching every episode of Malcolm in the Middle, you can't help but notice that he looks exactly like him, right? And I think that Steve Carell has the opposite problem. Where, like, he doesn't really look like Michael Scott, but boy does he sound like him. And especially in a time like this where so many people are watching The Office, we're at a moment where when we listen to Steve Carell, we assume it's Michael Scott unless it's Despicable Me where he sounds like Gru. Um, that is an issue, and it's something that maybe they should have kept in mind was if we have him scream or yell, it's going to sound a heck of a lot like that episode from The Office where he screams and he yells. And I don't think they really brought that into focus um, as much as I think they should have. They could have toned him down or maybe made him, you know, like lower his voice a little bit, um, but they didn't, and honestly, it did take away a little bit. Um, I know it shouldn't, but it does. Because we're at a point where it's so popular. It is pop culture. The Office is now pop culture. And it's at a point where everyone's watched it. And if I showed this clip to friends, they'd be like, wow, that guy from The Office is hilarious. And, you know, it, we don't want that to tie into this movie. Um, but I do think that his performance is really good. I think that he did what he could with what he had. And I think it was really solid. I liked the character a lot. Uh, I just didn't like how often he sounded like Michael Scott. Um, which I understand is a problem because he used literally Michael Scott, but still, you get my point. Timothy Chalamet as Nick Chef. I don't know if that's how you actually pronounce his name. He's French, I think, but I think I did it. I'm not sure. Um, Chalamet is a phenomenal actor all the time. Uh, in every movie I've seen him in, he's really, really on top of it. I'm actually really excited to watch Dune coming out on October 1st of this year um, because it has him in it, and I like the story behind Dune. Um, I haven't read the full novel or like the first half of it. It's it's a lot to get through, um, and it's kind of dry. Um, but I do like Timothy Chalamet, so I'm looking forward to the movie. Um, he plays a really, really good drug addict, <laughs> like like in the sense that like he you can tell that he doesn't want to be a drug addict, but he kind of has to. And I think he does really, really well with that. I, I honestly, you could probably cast him as anybody and he could do it. He really is so versatile. And I'm really, really excited to see him in more stuff. I mean, he's got a couple movies coming out this year, I think. Um, I'll watch at least Dune. I'm hoping to watch more from him, but we'll see. I really like his movies and all that stuff, so I'm really excited for more of him. And he was really great in this movie. And I like his character a lot. Um, I like his character more than I like Steve Carell. And I do think that he does uh, perform a better... Uh, performance than Steve Carell does here. I guess it's going to uh, be it for me talking about Beautiful Boy, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a B plus. 
I'm giving it a B plus because I think it's a really fun movie and really enjoyable, but there are a lot of flaws, uh, particularly with the casting of Steve Carell and a lot of the weird narrative uh, tricks that they use here. Just didn't quite work for me. But thank you all for watching. What did you guys think of Beautiful Boy? If you guys have anything, any comments, drop them in the comments down below. Um, I'd really like to read them. I love reading your guys' comments. It brings me so much joy. Uh, please consider subscribing. We're, we're really climbing. It's, it's, we're having a good time. I'm having a good time. Are you having a good time? I think I am. Uh, I know you're there. Are you having a good time? Uh, please consider doing that. It's a huge, huge help. And uh, let's look forward to next week. Um, tomorrow we have Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Saturday we have Aliens. Sunday is Easter. I, as of yet, do not have a plan for that video. If I drop anything on Sunday, I'm assuming I won't, but I might. Uh, Monday we have Wonder Woman 1984. Thursday is Django Unchained. Wednesday is Black Panther. Thursday is Vice. Friday is the Grand Budapest Hotel. And Saturday we're going to be talking about the DC Universe and my thoughts on every movie in terms of rank. So I'll be ranking those that Saturday. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. I hope you guys tune in. As of right now, we only have three more Steve Carell movies, and we have watched every Steve Carell movie ever made. That's insane. So thank you guys for coming with me on this ride. I'm having a really, really great time. Um, I hope you guys are too. And as always, keep watching movies and television. Stay educated, and I'll see you guys in the next video.